provides the walk off uh, tonight. Here's Phil Howard, an RBI double by Nick Shaw. What's up, guys? Coach Madden, you go pro baseball.com, and I'm here with Nick Shaw from the Baseball Box. If you don't know about the Baseball Box, check the link down below. It's a monthly subscription box with a bunch of baseball goodies in there, right? That's it. Well, uh, my favorite time is spring training, and I know yours as well, is when the agent sends you a your box gear. full of stuff, right? Oh, yeah. And that's kind of what uh, got you started in this. Absolutely. Right? Cool, that's so cool. Check it out, guys. Um, what we're gonna talk about today, though, in this video is how to hit a faster pitcher, okay? Now, you know, I'm sure you guys face junk ball pitchers, guys who pitch a little bit slower, and then guys who bring the heat, right? Nick's got some great tips for you on how to hit the guys who throw a little bit faster. First of all, what is the fastest guy that you ever faced? Maybe I've... not a name, but what's the mile per hour? 102. 102 yep. mile an hour. 98 was the fastest I ever saw in hitting in pro ball. My pro ball batting average is zero. I struck out that at bat. <laughs> I told you the story earlier. But uh, tell, give us some hit tips for how to hit a faster pitcher. Did you get a hit on 102? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. What do we do now? How do we yes. hit him? So I know it's overwhelming, guys. There's a guy on the hill. He's throwing hard. All right. A lot of times there's a radar gun back there. It's an overwhelming thing. Okay. But the key is to calm it down. All right, it's only a little adjustment like everything in hitting. We're just making an adjustment, okay? And it starts on deck. On deck, I want to time his fastball. If he's a fast thrower, he knows it, the catcher knows it, the coach knows it, so guess what's probably going to come a lot? The heater, all right? So we're timing up the fastball. I want to just start my load a little bit earlier. That way, I'm on time for his fastball, okay? We can react to everything else, but I want to key on his fastball since that's his strength, okay? So we're starting our load a little earlier. That doesn't mean get my foot right down and wait for the ball, okay? That just means starting my load a little bit sooner than I normally would to compensate for his speed, okay? The other adjustment I can make is if I normally stand in the middle of the box, I used to move to the back line of the box. That way it gave me another foot or so of reaction time, okay? I'm, my swing's not changing much, I'm just moving back in the box, okay? Another adjustment I used to make is tell myself be a little bit shorter to the ball. What that meant to me is I want to be compact, quick to the ball. I don't want to let my barrel get too, too deep towards the catcher in the zone. I want to be more compact to the ball. That way I can get the barrel to contact point sooner. Now let me ask you this. Are you trying to swing the same on a 85 mile an hour guy versus a uh, 98 mile an hour guy or 102 mile an hour guy. Same swing or, or anything different? My swing intensity is basically the same. It's easy to say, oh, this guy's throwing 95, I need to swing harder. But what happens when I swing harder, my muscles tense up, I actually move slower, my swing gets bigger. So like I said, I like to take the same mentality and not let the velocity kind of dictate me swinging harder. Now, from the pitching perspective, I was a 96 mile an hour sinker ball guy and just from my philosophy, I was mostly fastball. That's most, I threw mostly fastball. So if you know you have a guy who is super fast with the fastball, they usually stick to what they're good at. So if you kind of have that approach in the box, like I'm gonna get mostly fastballs in this at bat, you know, you can kind of eliminate all the other pitches. And if he throws you a nasty slider and you swing and miss, you know, tip your hat to the guy, that's a great pitch. But be ready for that fastball, get your foot down, be on time. And, and do work, try to get on base, right? That's it, let's hit the fastball. Great tips, thank you so much. Guys, if you haven't checked out the baseball box, please do so down there. Oh, you okay?